This is Assistant Secretary Lynn Johnson from the Administration for Children and Families, a division of the United States Department of Health and Human Services. Once a year, we dedicate an entire month to adoption. The history dates back to when President Ronald Reagan proclaimed the first National Adoption Week in 1984. President Clinton then expanded this to Adoption Month in 1995. National Adoption Month, a Children's Bureau initiative, increases national awareness and support for the thousands of children and youth in the United States foster care system who are waiting for permanent, loving families. This initiative is supported by a partnership with Child Welfare Information Gateway and Adopt U.S. Kids. The importance of adoption has been highlighted by President Trump signing an executive order on June 24, 2020 to strengthen the child welfare system for America's children. This executive order stresses the importance that all of our waiting youth in foster care deserve a permanent, safe, stable, and loving family. First Lady Melania Trump identified adoption and permanency for children and youth as one of her critical priorities under her Be Best campaign. It was wonderful to see her meeting with and engaging with our youth who are currently in or have aged out of our system. This year, the tagline for 2020 Adoption Month is Engage Youth, Listen, and Learn. We know it is absolutely critical to partner with teens in foster care to help them achieve permanency, both legally and emotionally. This bolsters future achievement, health, and well-being. This provides for the future more than anything else we can do. Youth engagement is not a one-time action. Rather, children and youth should be involved in all aspects of child welfare, especially for their own cases. Adoption should never be just a one-month event, but should happen every day, every week, and every month of the year, so our children and youth move into safe, loving homes quickly. Professionals should be persistent and patient when engaging youth because an honest, authentic, and trusting relationship is at the heart of youth engagement work. So this year, we will focus on partnering with older youth to achieve permanency. We know there are 13,000 846 youth between the ages of 15 and 17 waiting for a permanent home. This places them at risk of aging out of our foster care system without permanent connections. Each year, close to 20,000 youth age out of care without the support of a forever family. A loving, permanent family to help them navigate their entry into adulthood, celebrate holidays with, or support them as they pursue their dreams. And sadly, Many of these young men and women will experience higher rates of homelessness, incarceration, and unemployment after they leave foster care. This is unacceptable. National Adoption Month provides the opportunity to increase awareness about the work states are conducting to support the All-In Foster Adoption Challenge. This All-In Foster Adoption Challenge focuses on the 124,000 children waiting for permanency in the foster care system. Many of these children are already in the families who want to adopt them, but are waiting for the system to catch up, finish paperwork, or schedule hearings. The All-In Foster Adoption Challenge builds coalitions with governors across the nation to support an urgent message that these children should not have to wait years and years for a safe, forever home. It builds on coalitions with private, public, and faith-based organizations to create best practices and it builds coalitions of youth who have experienced the highs and lows of the foster care system. Together, we can all build towards creating forever loving homes for America's children, and together is the only way this will happen. Thank you. Produced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services at taxpayer expense.